darkness is already beginning to swell and it's swelling so badly that in fact it's closing and this fight won't go much further before Naples won't be able to see out of the left eye. So although Stracy has lost the opening runs, in fact, there's enough trouble on Napoli's face to give the British camp a lot of hope. Round three, Stracy home. Ten years difference, at least in their age. And if Naples has had trouble making the weight, then every round that goes by is going to be more trouble for him. There aren't many Stracy supporters in this ball ring, but they're making more noise than the Mexican supporters who've gone a bit quiet because they've seen the damage on Napoli's face. And Stracy is jabbing well and confident. signs already here in this third round that this fight need not necessarily go Napoli's way. He's got real trouble with those eyes of his. And Strace is getting just that little bit confident, little shuffle there. Showing out, not afraid and not worrying. Good round for Strace. He's making the other man miss and he's got him. He's caught him and Napoli's is down. Third round. Referee telling Stracy to get to a neutral corner. Somebody's thrown a cushion or something into the ring, protesting against Stracy, who wanted to keep on punching Naples. Compulsory eight count. Naples is up, but it's a compulsory eight count under the rules. So now the world champion marked heavily on the face and has been on the floor. And suddenly, from being Naples' fight, it's become Stracy's fight. Still dangerous, but no telling now which way it will go. What a good round for Stracy. First one he's won, but won it decisively. Did most of the work, and he caught Naples with the punches that really mattered. And these were those punches. Stracy attacking with confidence, got caught, but it hurt his man, and the legs went. Stracy hit him when he was down, and that's why a cushion came into the ring in protest, because Stracy impulsively hit his man he was down. But in fact, the referee treated him fairly leniently there, because a Mexican official might easily have thrown Stracy out for that, but he didn't. So Naples patched up again on the right eye, left eye shutting. Round four coming up, and this aging champion must know now that he's got all sorts of problems facing him in this ring in Mexico City, almost seven and a half thousand feet above sea level. And which one is going to feel the effects? Napoli is getting some encouragement from the crowd and needs it. He's in trouble. Round four. Stracy still coming forward. strongly with these hooks, the sort of combination punching for which he's famous, and that is exactly the sort of thing that destroyed Ralph Charles, who was managed by the same man as Stracy a few years ago at Wembley, and Napoli has knocked out Charles in the seventh, with a series of punches just like that. But Stracy taking these good punches from Napoli in these early rounds and taking them well, and still looking very, very strong. left jam is absolutely beating the head off Naples. Stracy's 
Tracy bleeding from the nose, face marked, but not as badly as Napoli's. Napoli's the veteran of 83 professional fights. 17 years of professional. 17 world title fights behind him. And still very dangerous. It's five years since any welterweight in the world has beaten Napoli's. But Stracy is threatening to do it. Round four. Doubtful now whether Napolis can see out of his left eye. Perspective going, judgment of distance going from him. Backing up, getting caught. Look at that left eye. Catching Stracy occasionally. But the boy from Bethnal Green taking them and still coming forward. And that is very significant. Coming to the end of the fourth. Quite a good round for Napolis, but he hasn't put his man on the floor. And Stracy walks back with a, a jaunty step, but Napolis tired. Water thrown over him, needs treatment. This wasn't a bad round for Napolis. Even though he can only see out of one eye, he's still catching Stracy, but getting caught himself with jabs. But this was a good flurry towards the end of the round by Napolis. But perhaps significantly, Strace is able to take those punches, which shows really that there isn't too much behind Napoli's work now. And this champion could be staring defeat in the face. Round five. So Napoli's ahead on points. But perhaps that doesn't matter so much. coming for Stracy from his corner. Left eye bleeding. That's the eye that was uh, cut in his last fight and reopened again in training here. So that could give Stracy trouble. It's an old injury. Look at cut now on the right eye of Naples as well as the left eye shutting. So the world champion fighting in his own capital, in front of his own people, at his own altitude, Suffering all sorts of indignities here from Stracy. Mind your head from the referee. Stracy coming forward, taking the initiative. Significant that Napolis takes time to get off the ropes when he's caught there. Head being pushed back by these jabs. Gets cautioned by the referee. The Mexican crowd don't like it. And Strace is being a bit rough in these clinches. He's really turning the tables. A lot of overseas fighters our men have met in the past have been a bit rough when it's come to the point. But now it's Stracy 